cousin Rochelle was so kind to donate an entire box of vintage fashion and some accessories, and I'm so excited to share all of the vintage 40s, 50s, and 1960s pieces. Here is the box. It is quite <laughs> heavy and large and exploding because I've gone through and looked at the pieces. I do have another smaller box that I've just separated that has accessories, so I'm going to weave those in as, as well. And as I'm showing each item, I might show how I would style some of them. You can just start with what's on top. The first piece I have to show you is a black 1960s cocktail dress. It is a classic black. Zippers in the back. It has a really cute crossover section with a bow over the zipper. Very Samantha from Bewitched. But yeah, I do have a cute pair of pointed heels I would wear with these and maybe um, a black handbag. The next piece is another maybe 1960s, late 50s uh, cocktail dress. This fabric is a dark blue. I would call it like a dark navy, maybe a midnight blue. Cute feature on this dress is the neckline. Reminds me of that picture of Grace Kelly where it kind of um, goes inward, but it has a little illusion neck line as well. It's homemade just because when you look at the inside it definitely looks like not something that would have been made in a shop. It's lightweight fabric perfect for Florida. The length is like a cocktail length and just a very super versatile and classy looking dress. All right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, here's another, what I think is a 1960s dress. You'll have to tell me your opinion because I'm really not sure. Although looking at this, this one does have a label, Lily Diamond, California. So it definitely is a vintage label. And this is a black kind of chiffon lined <laughs> there is no waist in this dress and it is all about the ruffled sleeves and then the, the dress has like an accordion layer on top and then it is lined as well not really my style but I think it could be a really cute maternity dress maybe someday <laughs> and it has some very interesting details in these sleeves where it has these flowers on both sides and I don't really know like how you're supposed to wear them because the neckline is like you know this but then the flowers are like underneath. I'm a little confused about the way you're supposed to wear it. We have a little bit of taffeta here in the box. This is an olive green taffeta evening dress. It has a ruched bodice. The bodice length is quite long, so I think it's kind of a drop waist. Floor length. And it has these kind of sleeves that have been sewn in. A sweetheart neckline. zipper side. Don't think this one has a label. This one also is giving me very homemade vibes. I think this is a very like early 50s dress. I don't know. It's pretty. This one is very, very unique. But it's this beautiful indigo blue color and the silhouette the 
This almost looks homemade as well. It is so unique because more purple color underneath, like a gray, that they sewed this more sheer um, fabric on top of that gives it this like iridescent look. And it's a full length gown. Very thin straps. Metal zipper that is teal. Very unique. Back has this gathered part in the middle to almost give it like a bustle appearance. Please. Definitely meant to be worn with some kind of crinoline, I think. I think this one's from the 40s. Classic 40s silhouette. Royal blue, kind of sheer rayon maybe, but the label is Mademoiselle Juliet and it's definitely antique looking. And it's quite sheer, I can see right through it. It's this pretty kind of vertical texture pattern, kind of like asymmetrical looking that continues on the opposite side of the skirt. You can actually see that here. But it just looks like a nice, I don't know, kind of day dress. It does have some tears, it needs to be mended. Oh, and here we have a maxi dress in kind of a pretty rose lilac color with spaghetti straps. There's like a faux rose here. I don't know if there's a label on this. I love the color. I'm having a hard time figuring out if it's like from the 90s or from the 2000s. Like it's a polyester fabric, maxi dress. Super feminine. Could be from the 70s, but I really don't know. Doesn't seem super vintage. And next, I have a 1940s taffeta green dress. This one has shoulder pads. Vintage label. Sheila Lynn, the Halley Brothers Company. really neat. It has these leaves on it, or it could be holly. I think this would be a really cute holiday dress. Fabric is a little heavier, but it's a beautiful green 40s silhouette. There's no crinoline, but I would definitely wear something underneath it. Give it a bit more shape. It's not really lined. So the zipper is a dark green to match. And it's definitely old. More dress. And this is amazing. This is I want to say a ball gown, an evening gown. I am absolutely in love. She is damaged, but she's so beautiful. It is a strapless, fur lined, I don't know if it's taffeta, silk, I think silk taffeta, um, in ivory. And it is a ball gown with all this beautiful beading. And it has some, it has actual boning in it. I'm sure a really nice structure. And it goes all the way down to the floor. It's 
the oldest and most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Let's open it up so you can see the inside. You can see boning. It has two hanger straps. Oh no, it has four. Four hanger straps. I don't believe there's an original label. It has all these hook and eye closures in the back. And I just love the bow in the front. It's so cute. So now I'm gonna show you some of the accessories that came along. And the first thing is this lovely fur collar. It's some kind of animal fur, I don't know. Honestly though, it could be, it could be faux. It's really hard to tell, but it has two clips in the front. So you can add it to a jacket, or maybe a really nice collared dress or a cape. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it's really neat. There are multiple pairs of gloves that arrived in the box. Uh, shorter, like day gloves to go with um, a jacket. A little detail on the top there, there's a seam, and then you can kind of see the, the seams and the fingers. These are probably from the 60s. Oh no, there is a tag, look. It says Hanson seven and a half gloves, nylon, nylon suede washable. So yeah, I would say these are from the 60s. They're nylon to look like suede. I actually didn't have any gloves until now, so I'm really excited to have some. These ones are forearm length, so a little longer, it seems. And they're brown as well, great neutral. We have that detail on the front. Let's look inside. And crescendo, leather tailored, seven and a half. Ones are not in the best condition. They are forearm leather gloves in ivory. Still neat to have and could be cute in some pictures. More gloves. <laughs> These are really pretty. These are sheer gloves. Perfect for summertime. Uh, very dainty for, for, the, for day wear. They're not exactly white and they are a little small on me. These are probably a size six. I'm gonna make it work though. <laughs> That's why gloves come in sizes. And I think I'm a six and a half, seven, and these feel like a six. They have like a ruffle. Probably wear these for pictures, but probably wouldn't wear them longer than that because I wouldn't want to tear them. We have a pair of long opera gloves in off-white. They're not a stark white, they're just a little bit on the warmer side. But they have these extra buttons here in the middle, and they're perfect for a more formal occasion. Lastly, I thought I would share the accessories. Uh, there was a, a couple of scarves. The first one is this sheet see-through chiffon black scarf with some gold embroidery on it. Really pretty. I think it would be really cute on like a vanity. Draped over a jacket. It's a square scarf in my last video. Perfect size, it has a fun pattern. It looks like it's could be from the 60s. Or silky scarf, another fun pattern. A little clutch mirror, makeup compact. A cream leather handbag. Chain. So tiny. It's a black 
leather handbag. Us. Has a chain on the inside. I think my favorite handbag is this fabric one. I just the shape. It's it's in really good condition. Nice gold chain. It has a little coin purse on the inside. And the other thing that came in the bag was lots of lovely, nice hangers. So I'm excited to have these gorgeous hangers in my closet. And that's the end of my vintage hand-me-down unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing my new little collection. I'm excited to see where the pieces go, how I'm able to incorporate them into my wardrobe, and what I might happen to change. I do have some ideas for some of the gowns and how I would tailor them a little bit for my purposes. Hope you enjoyed the video and that you enjoyed seeing the vintage fashion and how I would style some of the pieces. Bye.